everybody, it's Sammy Mooney with the Blue Coats and Ultimate Drill Book. This is your exercise for the Be Band Ready Challenge. We are going to be talking about balance, specifically as it relates to your lower body um, and marching or dancing. So two fancy words that we're going to use are proprioception and kinesthetic awareness. Proprioception is basically knowing how far a joint is bent, whether it's your upper body or your lower body and uh, without looking at it, and kinesthetic awareness or sense is knowing where your body is in space. For example, I know that I'm standing on a dance floor because I can feel that with my feet. I know I'm standing straight up and I feel a slight breeze from my fan in the room. So I know where I am without having to look around. Okay, so kinesthetic awareness and proprioception are two fancy words for basically knowing where you are in space and knowing what your body is doing without having to look at your feet while you're marching or look at your left release hand under your saber toss. You gotta feel where that release is, okay? So we're gonna relate this to our lower body. We're going to be doing a couple of exercises. The first exercise is to stand with your feet parallel but bring your feet all the way together. So you're gonna touch your feet all the way together, okay? So no space between your feet. You're gonna stand on both feet, arms by your side, and you're gonna close your eyes. And you're gonna try to stand here in balance for 30 seconds. Now I'm just gonna keep talking and we're gonna do about 10 seconds worth, but 30 seconds, you'll open your eyes, you'll repeat that three times through, okay? So what happens when you stand with your feet together, you're gonna to narrow your base, you're gonna be less supported naturally less supported and you're going to have to use those receptors on your feet to tell your muscles in your ankle what to do, okay? The second exercise we're gonna do is called the T balance. You're gonna stand on one foot, I'm gonna stand on my left foot. We're gonna bring our right leg off the floor, choose whatever leg you want, and we're gonna reach this leg back behind us. We're gonna reach our arms into a letter T and we're gonna stay here with our eyes closed for 30 seconds. Let's close our eyes and let's just do five. Four, three, two, one. You can open your eyes, put that foot down. Good, take a bend in between. Let's try the other side. So choose the opposite leg that you started with. Go ahead and stand on it. Lift the other leg off the floor. Reach it back behind you. I'm just bringing the knees in alignment here. We're gonna open those arms to a T and close those eyes. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and open your eyes. Already I can feel that this leg is not quite as strong and prepared in working on my balance compared to my second leg, okay? All right, this next exercise is a little more challenging. You can use any item that can stand on its own. I'm gonna use my water bottle, a comb works, a yoga block, a sneaker, whatever you have that can stand supported on its own and won't roll away. So we're gonna take this item, these are going to be uh, pickups. So you're gonna take this item, you're gonna hold it right from your chest, reach it straight out, okay? So I'm reaching towards the camera. Starting with one foot, choose a leg, lift the other leg up, and reach it back behind you so it's straight. You can flex or you can point that foot. Already I'm working to talk and balance on one leg. What we're going to do is we're going to reach straight out with our arms, we're gonna bend our standing leg, Set the item down, come back up, and step together, okay? That would be our level one. Level two is pickups, right? Lift that leg, reach it back, bend the standing leg, put the item down, come back up, reach forward. Bend down, pick it up, lift it up, okay? Five times each leg, and you're good to go. The third exercise are going to be cone taps. I'm gonna set up three cones, fairly close together. You can use anything. You can use three cups, three sneakers, whatever you have. Set them up so they're in a small triangle. We're gonna stand on both feet, bring our legs together, squeeze the feet at the ankle, choose one leg to lift. I'm gonna pick up my left leg. Reach it back behind you. You can reach your arms in T to start. Okay, then I want you to bring your arms down by your side. Good, keep the leg behind you. We're gonna reach with the same arm as the leg that's back and tap each cone. We're gonna stand up in between, okay? 
Feel free to take an arm out for balance if you need it. Bend the standing leg, reach down, tap, lift back up. Good. Bend the standing leg, reach and tap, right back up. You got one more. Bend, reach and tap, lift back up, reset, other side. Let's try it. Stand on both feet, lift one leg back, arms in a T for balance, then once you're good to go, bring those arms down. Same arm as leg is moving, bend your standing leg, reach across, choose a cone, one, and up, and two, and lift. Third one, three, and lift, and lower. If you wanna increase the challenge with this exercise, close your eyes, and see if you can tap each cone with your eyes closed, coming up in between each rep. So why is this important? So having balance and knowing where your body is in space without looking at your body in space allows you to be more fluid with your exercises, with your marching, with your dancing, and it increases the skill level and allows you to do multiple skills at the same time. So not only are you working on coordinating your body to what you're doing, but you're also increasing that toolkit to help you become a better marcher, a better dancer, a better player. Cool? I hope you like these exercises. Try them on your own. See if you can increase your balance, proprioception, and kinesthetic awareness.